to end this uh, presentation. I'm showing, when, showing you now uh, mapping journey number three that has been made uh, in October in Palestine uh, because I have been invited uh, in both Ramallah and Jerusalem for a month's residency uh, at the invitation of Art School Palestine, uh, a nonprofit uh, organization dedicated to art and promoting uh, arts and also organizing exhibitions. So uh, I have been invited there for a residency uh, as well uh, as for an exhibition. Uh, it was really challenging because um, it was my first time in Palestine uh, because before uh, I wasn't able to go to Palestine because I had only a Moroccan passport. And with a Moroccan passport, I couldn't do it. So uh, recently I had a French one, so I decided to use it to go to Palestine. Um, and it was really challenging because, uh, of course, everybody knows how much the situation there is complex and specifically from the geographical point of view. Um, so uh, at the beginning, I, I was not sure that making a mapping journey there would be a good idea. And when I uh, start, started my research, and when I uh, noticed how it's difficult to find detailed map in Palestine, I thought, OK, maybe it's a good idea if I can do it with a very detailed map. And I had the opportunity to meet uh, geographers that works for the United Nations in the Jerusalem office uh, for the Palestinian Authority. Uh, actually, they make maps for the Palestinian Authority. Uh, so I had the opportunity to visit them in their office, to check their uh, material and archives, and also to um, uh, see how it's difficult for geographers in Palestine to keep updated maps uh, of the West Bank. Um, why? Because uh, the territory changed perpetually. Uh, new settlements, new checkpoints, new temporary checkpoints, etc., etc. And uh, I made this video in October, and in September they updated uh, the map of the West Bank. So uh, the map that you are going to see is the, is the map updated in September 2009. Uh, just to make it clear uh, again, uh, the red parts are the Palestinian territories. No, the yellow, sorry, the, 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 the yellow uh, parts are the Palestinian territory, and the red purple are the Israeli settlements. The red crosses are the checkpoints, the black one, the temporary checkpoints that are not so temporary, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Just to give you some uh, and this uh, about how this map is made. Uh, well, something <laughs> very important. Um, the other reason why uh, it appeared to me that uh, it, it could be very interesting to make a mapping journey there uh, is also because in Ramallah, I met a lot of people uh, that didn't reach Jerusalem for sometimes 10 years. Uh, um, Jerusalem is at 14 kilometers. Um, if you cross easily the checkpoint, you can make it in 20 minutes. Uh, but if you live in the West Bank, it's almost impossible for you to reach uh, Jerusalem, uh, including East Jerusalem. And uh, saying including East Jerusalem is very important because, um, as you know, East Jerusalem uh, has been uh, annexed to Israel in 1967. Uh, but no country has recognized East Jerusalem as a part of the Israeli state. Uh, so even reaching East Jerusalem, which is considered from the point of view of the international law as a part of the Palestinian uh, territories, so even reaching another Palestinian territory for people living in the West Bank is almost impossible, except if uh, you get a permit and obtaining a permit from the Israeli authorities is very, very, very difficult. So I met a lot of people that told me, ah, oh, I, uh, I haven't seen Jerusalem since 1995, 10 years ago, 15 years ago. But I met also few people that uh, used to go illegally to East Jerusalem and that found uh, alternative roads. Uh, in Palestine, they, 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 they called it alternative roads, exactly like this in, in, uh, in Arabic. Um, and
And I asked one of them if he would agree to draw on a map of the West Bank, how he can make it to uh, reach uh, East Jerusalem illegally, which means avoiding the checkpoint and uh, the separation wall uh, as well. كنت بروح من رام الله للقدس عشان أشوف صحتي اللي تشتغل في الشيخ جراح في القدس في الوضع الطبيعي كنا كفلسطينيين عشان نوصل للقدس نروح من من رام الله من خلال قلنديا بالرام بيت حنينة شوفا بعدين نوصل للشيخ جراح من وقت ما حطوا الإسرائيليين الحواجز وعزلوا مدينة القدس صفوا من على الفلسطينيين إنهم يدخلوا القدس من خلال الحواجز الرئيسية اللي حطوها وبالتحديد حاجز قلنديا اللي بيمنع كل واحد بيحمل الهوية الفلسطينية من إنه يدخل والجدار في الوقت الحالي محيط بكل مدينة القدس فبالتالي أصبح من الصعب على الفلسطينيين إنهم يدخلوا على المدينة عشان أقدر أوصل للقدس اضطريت إنه أخذ طريق بتلتف على الحواجز وعلى الجدار وعلى المعابر اللي حطوها الإسرائيليين فطلعت من مدينة رام الله رحت لقرية اسمها رفات بعدها وصلت لقرية تانية اسمها بير نبالة في هاي المنطقة بعدين وصلنا أخذنا طريق ترابية لبيت حنينة بيت حنينة قرية فلسطينية جزء منها الجزء القديم خارج الجدار خارج ضواحي القدس الجزء الجديد تابع لمنطقة القدس ولكن هذا الجزء بيكون داخل الجدار في منطقة بيت حنين الجدار مش مكتمل فنزلت من خلال الجبال وطلعت على مستوطنة اسمها رموت في غرب القدس ومن هاي المستوطنة كنت داخل حدود منطقة القدس وداخل جميع الحواجز اللي, اللي حطينها الإسرائيليين في هاي المنطقة well, so... This is the third part of the mapping journey. Uh, currently, I'm working on the mapping journey number four and uh, mapping journey number five in South Italy. Uh, after that, uh, I will probably go to Spain to produce the number six and uh, ending with Greece, because the main project is, um, at the end, mapping a kind of uh, alternative map of the Mediterranean uh, area, but not uh, um, under the control of the geographical, uh, of the usual tools used by geographers, but an alternative map of the Mediterranean uh, area shaped by, shaped by uh, clandestinity and built around uh, clandestine experiences and clandestine existences. And I think that's it. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>